General Hospital spoilers revealed dangerous meetings, one bad move, peril in the snow, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this action-packed episode. Sunny, Morris Bernard, managed to make it to a wedding, throw the feds off Drew's, Cameron Matheson, trail and make it to the warehouse so the pikeman shipment can go down. He is cool and confident as he negotiates this deal, not knowing Dex, Evan Hofer, has a camera hidden per Michael's, Chad Duell, orders. Back at the Quartermain house, Michael and Willow, Ketlin McMullen, discuss Sonny's help in getting Carly, Laura Wright, sprung and getting the SEC to believe Drew is in Hawaii. Willow points out that his father may not be so bad after all, and that should mean something. Will Michael feel enough guilt over what is about to happen that he tries to call off Dex Michael will soon learn he was wrong to try to send Sonny to jail. But Nina, Cynthia Watros, already knows that she was wrong to try to send Carly to jail. After Alva, Mora West, pointed out some important and obvious things to her, Nina finally realized that tipping off the SEC to Carly and Drew's insider trading mess would backfire on her. To that end, she meets with Martin to try to fix things and finds out that she's too late. Perhaps she should have checked with Sunny about how Willow's death wedding went. Liesel, Kathleen Gaddy, is still doing her best to make Victor, Charles Shaughnessy, believe that she is really on his side and doing his bidding, even if he thinks it is just so she can go through. However, she is not about to let Victor win, and he grows suspicious that she is up to something. What will he do when Liesel stands her ground elsewhere on this strange, snowy island? Victor's goons are suspicious when they hear a phone ringing and find a gun. Laura knows they might be in trouble and tells her friends they need to give Victor exactly what he's looking for. Back in Port Charles, Holly, Emma Sams, Anna, Finola Hughes, and Robert Tristan Rogers are on the case. Anna is determined to get out of that hospital bed and into the action, while Holly takes some drastic measures to make sure the right people reach Victor before it's too late. Too bad Scott, Kin Schreiner, might get in the way, prompting Anna to lecture Lacell's boyfriend. Things are progressing rather swimmingly for General Hospital's Selena Wu, assuming that her not-so-kosher poker games running in the back of the Savoy don't become public knowledge via Cody Bell's big mouth, and life is rather bright and beautiful for uber-talented performer Lydia Look, who's celebrating a major milestone. And that's because she was born on April 30, 1980, in Singapore, which means that this talented multi-hyphen is turning 43 years old today. At a young age, Look was taken under the wing of famed speech and drama, teaching Irish nuns Sister Dolores and Sister Josephine, who ensured her graduation from their alma mater Guildhall School of Music and Drama. As a teen, Look toiled at Singapore's Seoul TV station, SBC, where she dubbed original Mandarin dialogue into English, and various locale stage companies. Her eventual graduation from the USC School of Film and Television and USC School of Theater was frequently stalled for a number of artistic endeavors, including a starring role in the theatrical show The Woman Warrior, the selling of an original script to the Samuel Goldwyn Company, the opportunity to pen an episode of The Sentinel. Among the actress' multitude of credits are guest appearances in series such as Ally McBeal, E.R., Walker, Texas Ranger, The Shield, Bones, and NCIS, Hawaii, featured parts in films such as Tremors 4. The legend begins, Battle of the Damned, Seven Letters, Singapore's entry in the 88th Academy Award Foreign Film category, and Paper Tiger, and a plethora of voice work on various video games, movies, and shows. After losing out on the role of a physician at the titular institution, Look was conscripted by casting director Mark Teschner to join the cast of General Hospital in the personage of mafiosa Selena Wu, head of the Wu crime family. A nominal part at first, Selena's presence in Port Charles was eventually beefed up courtesy of her allegiance to Sunny Corinthas, Morris Bernard, and business partnership with Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner. In addition to her acting and authoring, including the script for Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, Look has narrated several works by Singapore-born American novelist Kevin Kwan, namely China Rich Girlfriend, Rich People Problems, and Sex and Vanity. Look, who speaks five languages including Mandarin and Chinese, has been married to actor-slash-stuntman Jen Kuo-sung since August 2005, 
The couple is currently the proud parents of four fur babies, three pugs and a black cat. Soap Hub would like to wish Lydia Look a very happy birthday, and you can too, by clicking on the Twitter link below. Look, who speaks five languages, including Mandarin and Chinese, has been married to actor slash stuntman Jen Kuo Sung since August 2005. The couple is currently the proud parents of four fur babies, three pugs, and a black cat. Soap Hub would like to wish Lydia Look a very happy birthday, and you can too, by clicking on the Twitter link below. The General Hospital recaps for April 24, April 28, 2023 featured a deeming, a damsel leading the charge, a villain's endgame drawing nearer, and so much more. Valentin, James Patrick Stewart, pointedly dodges Ned's Wally Kurth, bothersome phone calls. Ned grouses to Brooke Lynn, Amanda Seton, that ELQ is on the brink of ruin. Molly, Haley Pullos, tells TJ, Taj Bello, and Alexis, Nancy Lee Gron, that she likely has endometriosis. Laura, Jenny Francis, Drew, Cameron Matheson, Curtis, Donald Turner, and Valentin make tracks to Victor Cassadine, Charles Shaughnessy, and Coast Location. Felicia, Christina Wagner, Holly, Emma Sams, Ethan, James Ryan, and Tracy, Jane Elliott, return to Port Charles. When the plane lands, Felicia and Tracy depart for home. Ethan immediately heads for Australia, and Holly makes a beeline for Robert, Tristan Rogers, who's in the process of wooing Diane, Carolyn Hennessy, Nana, Cynthia Watros, Tasked Martin, Michael E. Knight, with sixing the SEC on Carly, Laura Wright, in light of Drew's absence, Willow, Catelyn McMullen, asked Carly to walk her down the aisle, Diane takes Robert and Holly to task for their subterfuge, then takes her leave of them. Holly tells Robert that, according to Ethan, Victor plans to revive a technology the Cassidanes developed back in the 1980s. Tracy makes her presence known and learns of Willow and Michael's imminent wedding and the reason for it. Nina confides her action to a flabbergasted Ava, Mora West. Dante, Dominic Zamprogna, takes it upon himself to play peacekeeper when Sonny, Morris Bernard, arrives at the Q-Mance. Willow readies to walk down the aisle on Carly's arm. Victor's goons locate and infiltrate an old Cassidine-owned and operated laboratory and locate the pathogen that Victor intends to unleash on the unsuspecting populace. Anna deduces Victor's scheme. Sam, Kelly Monaco, officiates Michael and Willow's wedding. The couple is deemed man and wife. Agents of the SEC arrive on the property in search of Carly and Drew. Ava warns Nina that if Sunny rumbles over her doings there will be hell to pay. Dex, Ivanhofer, plants a camera in the warehouse where the mysterious pikeman shipment is to be delivered. Michael accuses Ned of being the one who turned Carly into the SEC. Sunny and Diane work their magic to get Carly home. Laura, Drew, Curtis, and Valentin arrive in Greenland. Laura can't help but draw parallels between her fight against the Cassabanes to what Trina, Tabiana Ali, and Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, are going through. Victor's goons are alerted to the hero's presence. Jordan, Tanisha Harper, is put out to learn she's been kept out of the loop yet again.